Coming up on today's show, the men's basketball team looks to stay in the playoff hunt, women's basketball goes for their third straight win, and the men's lacrosse team opened up their season in our nation's capital. The men's basketball team entered a Wednesday's game against UDC, just a half game out of the final playoff spot, and after losing to Mercy on Saturday, Tech needed a bounce back win. Marcus St. Fursey only had six points in that game against Mercy, but he had a huge bounce back performance in this one. St. Fursey would hit three threes in the first few minutes and score 11 of Tech's first 14 points. The Bears led by 13 at halftime, but UDC came storming back. Consolo Adams gives the Firebirds their first lead of the game. This one would come down to the wire. Tie ball game, and it's Marcus St. Fursey. He gets his own miss off the jumper and finds Brandon Redendo for the three. It was his only field goal of the night, but he made a count. The Firebirds, however, had a chance to tie the game, but Cheyenne Nettleton could not hit the layup. Bears hang on for the win. Marcus St. Fursey had a game high 19 points. Here's what the captain had to say. You know, the guys, you know, they trusted in me, you know, they, they tell me to keep shooting, they tell me to keep shooting. And, you know, I just had to stay confident. And, you know, my guys found me. And, you know, I just had guys support, supporting me. Tech will host Queens on Saturday. The women's basketball team played at Mercy over the weekend. And the Bears would take control of this game early on. Meg Nolmeyer would finish with a season-high 22 points. The Bears had five players finish in double figures. Zoe Amobear had a career-high 19 points. Carol Arfanengo had a career-high 15 Tech rolled to a 31-point win. Now for Wednesday's game against UDC, and the offense continued to have success. Shaley Frierson puts Tech up by 12. The Bears had 28 points in the paint on the night, and perhaps none better than this play. Great pass from Ketia Theus to find Nolmeyer. Tech pulled away in the third quarter. Zoe Amobear led the way with a 16-point performance. The Bears have now won five of their past six games. And spring sports are finally underway. The men's lacrosse team opened up their season at UDC over the weekend, and Joe Duchnowski had a career performance. The sophomore would score eight times in the win, shattering his previous career high of three goals. The Bears open up their season with an 18-5 route of the Firebirds, and the lacrosse team will be back at it on Tuesday for their home opener against Georgian Court. We'll have the full highlights next week. The Final Buzzer is a Globesville production produced in the studios at New York Tech.